you for that. And I'm sure a lot of people are proud. And, and this is a good good conversation to have because especially other folks that are not familiar with this program in other states, even internationally, that, 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 that listen to this podcast can, can get to know more about this program. And I have we'll just, uh, maybe a couple questions, but the first one would be, um, how does this um, operate? I mean, you get donations, I'm talking about raw material um, companies that get, they get out to you. How do you make, because I mean, you, you got to pay students. I mean, obviously if you, you're helping the, the community, but at some point it, it has to make money somewhere. Or am I, am I wrong with that? Or how, how does that, I mean, how, how can you make it work? This is a, a big, quick, big question, but I think if you can elaborate it, more. It's a good question. I'll let Jordan kind of uh, take the lead on starting that and then I can add some points. Sure. Uh, great question, Francisco. And so uh, like many things I do, I say, if I build it, it will come. And so Bob came and uh, and he helped us. And But uh, ultimately, we set up a 501c3 charity um, and we got some real great help from the uh, Beef Checkoff of Colorado, who helped uh, fund our initial efforts, if you will, in terms of uh, creating marketing and uh, and videos and, and visuals. And then from there, uh, Five Rivers stepped up pretty good. My my personal company, Arcadia Asset Management, stepped up. And once we took the lead, we saw our peers in the livestock industry really come together. Um, and so we've raised the the bulk of our money has come from either the livestock business or ancillary businesses around the livestock production chain. Um, and to us, that's what's super exciting. I think when when you look at the program, one of the reasons we chose you know, beef sticks, or one of the reasons we wanted to do this is that livestock producers, people in the ag community are excellent at giving. They're really bad about telling people that they gave. And so that's part of the reason we're in this mess is people just think we're a bunch of guys that wear cowboy hats and, and take everything off the land and never give back. But that's not the truth. And so part of the motivation is to get everybody to say, look at the great things we're doing for kids in Colorado and look at the impact that we're having on the kids in Colorado. So that allows for, for, for the sustainability of donations and allows us to, to produce beef sticks. Second thing is, you know, look, we have a lot of producers in our backyard and we're able to capitalize, if you will, on their generosity. And, uh, you know, look, our product is primal cuts. It just happens to be bench trimmings. Um, and so we do provide a high quality product, but it's bench trimmings. And, you know, there's not a huge market for bench trimmings and it's not a high cost product. So we're pretty excited about what we've got going into, into the product. You know, we, we uh, you know, the next thing is, is where we combine business with academics. And so we learned so much from Bob about food safety, about quality, about consistency. And I think in turn, we helped him learn about scale, about you know, uh, utilization of newer or equipment that was given to them as opposed to some of the equipment that was worn out. And so, you know, we've been trying to drive costs down in a, just like we try to do driving costs down at the feedlot or driving costs down at the packing plant. And so, you know, we have taken our product through scale, through donations, through tweaking, through meat science. We've taken that cost down about 60, 70 percent from when we first started. And I think that speaks huge volumes to what Bob can teach at the university and what we can give back to the university for allowing us to do this incredible program there. 